How's it going everyone? My name is Charlie. This big beautiful baby right here is my Great Dane puppy Roxy who right at 10 months had started to go through heat. So we're currently roughly between day 8 and day 10 but just wanted to give you a little bit of a quick breakdown on what you can expect when your dog is going through heat. So what is heat? Well, for all intents and purposes, we'll just describe heat as the few week time period in which your female dog has the capacity to get pregnant. And since it is not my goal for Roxy to get pregnant, it is not my goal to breed Roxy, I'll be getting her spayed eventually. This video is going to be from the perspective of prevention of getting pregnant as you kind of want to look at the heat cycle as your dog is actively trying to mate and other dogs are actively trying to mate with your dog as during the heat cycle they produce hormones that male dogs can smell for up to three miles away so you can have dogs from the neighborhood over trying to get at your dog during this time so you want to be absolutely supervising any time that they're outside but we'll get into some of that later when we talk about tips and care for your dog during the heat cycle. So when do Great Danes go into heat? Well if you had a smaller dog breed like a toy breed or a medium sized breed they can go into heat as early as a few months old or six months old. Giant sized breed like ours typically don't go into heat unless they are eight months all the way up to 24 months. It is a very large gap of time and experiences will vary for when your dog goes into heat. So right around 10 months we're obviously on the early end of that spectrum but if your dog is even a year and a half old and they haven't gone through heat yet it's not uncommon. So the biggest thing I can encourage you there is just to be prepared for when it comes and I'll get into a little bit of that later of how you can kind of prepare your dog or prepare your house or just have some accessories to make it as easy on everyone as possible. So what are some symptoms to help you recognize when your dog is going through heat? Well some of the symptoms can be described as being moody or restless which might be words you already use to describe your Great Dane but some of the other symptoms can be more frequent urination, nesting behaviors, um, you know swollen swollen female parts but ultimately I think the biggest indicator that's going to let you know that it's it's happening is when you finally see uh, blood flowing from that area so when you see that first discharge you will absolutely know. Most people would describe this as around three to four weeks as it is encouraged that you want to keep your dog away from intact male dogs for a full 21 days from the start of their heat cycle. And when talking about frequency of how often dogs go into heat, many dog breeds will experience heat twice a year, roughly every six months. Whereas with Great Danes, Great Danes typically only experience, experience heat every 12 to 18 months. So ultimately, the heat cycle boils down into four phases. I'm not going to talk about the phases all that much, but just give you a really brief rundown on some things that you can expect. In phase one, their female parts start getting swollen, their hormone levels are rising, and blood is flowing. In the second phase is where they really become their most fertile and when they are going to be the most active when it comes to looking for a mate in which all throughout the heat cycle it is heavily encouraged that you monitor any time that they're outside because it is not uncommon for Great Danes to hop fences, to crawl under or dig under fences, or pretty much do whatever possible to get to a suitor for them to mate with and vice versa. So you're not only monitoring their outside time to just keep an eye solely on them. You want to make sure that there are no dogs trying to get into your yard to mate with your dog. 
But during the second phase, the flowing blood will reduce. And if you're entirely unfamiliar with the heat cycle, you might think that it is ending and it's not. <laughs> so you want to keep, you know, your dog in diapers. You want to keep monitoring their outdoor behaviors. You want to keep, you know, just be vigilant with them, period, and continue to give them that TLC and extra love and care during during this time. So those are the two phases that you're going to need to probably be the most vigilant during and pay the most attention to. Um, the next two phases, you're probably not going to be interacting with too much, although during the third phase, it is possible for them to have false pregnancies and their body can actually prepare itself or even start to produce milk. But um, throughout the phases, again, just to reiterate, you want to make sure that if you're trying to not get your dog pregnant, that you're keeping them away from any intact males for that first, you know, 21 days from their cycle. And then in the fourth phase, their hormone levels are going back to normal and essentially their reproductive system is going dormant until their next heat cycle. So now we'll get into a few suggestions for how I believe you can make this time a little bit easier and feel free to share any tips that I don't cover in the comments. But my biggest and most important thing is reusable or washable dog diapers. I don't know how anybody survives taking their, or they're going through the heat cycle with their dog without these. But what I would encourage you to, if your dog has not experienced heat yet, is it is wonderful when you can get your dog familiar with diapers or introduce them to diapers early. So all of a sudden, when their heat cycle starts, they're not thrust into diapers or into something that they've never worn before and are finding themselves wearing it for, for a large portion of the day. So if your dog has not gone through heat, you know, I would encourage you to order some, introduce them to your dog, get them comfortable wearing them. So when their heat cycle comes, it feels much more natural for them to wear. Especially you want to make sure that the size you're getting is big enough. If your Great Dane is not going into heat until they're, you know, 15 months or two years old. So please make sure that you get the right size for them. So another tip or thing that is important during this time is you want to make sure that you're keeping that part of your dog's body clean. They will largely be helping with this, but at the same time it is something that you want to be checking on to make sure that there's no build up there. So just keep monitoring that and clean when necessary and just be prepared to provide more tender love and care during this time. Their appetite may be fluctuating. You know, they might be more moody than usual. So just give them the love and support that they need and you both will make it through this just fine. And it's never a bad idea to just schedule a vet visit for once heat is over, just to ensure that everything went according to plan and that they are happy and healthy. But thank you everyone for stopping by today. I hope that this was a little bit informative and hopefully leaves you a little bit more prepared for when your dog experiences their first heat cycle. But we appreciate your support and thanks for rocking with us.